Hey guys, hope you all have been well. It's been a while. It's been two weeks since I uploaded a video and reason being is because I was still sick. Yeah. Hmm. I am much better now though. My voice is pretty much normal. My nose is not stuffy. And so today I'm finally going to film the haul video that I promised I was going to make for you all. As always, if you guys like this makeup look, go ahead and head over to Instagram. I will be uploading all of the products that I use to put this makeup look together over there. I'm already sweating. Smart choice. Wear a sweater, Annabelle. It's probably like 95 degrees outside. Okay, so I put all of the makeup goodies in, these, in this bag. It's actually more beauty related. A ton of this stuff are just lashes. So if you're not prepared to see a whole lot of lashes or don't want to, it's the wrong video. But I will be saving the lashes for last, just in case you do want to see just makeup items. So this is a Harper Bazaar bag. I forget where I get it from. Macy's? I did place an order on, where did I order from? What is it called? Lady Moss is where I get my lashes from. Then I ordered from MAC. Macy's and Nordstrom, whole, whole bunch of stuff. So the first one here is my free gift from MAC. I'm surprised because MAC never usually does free gifts, but this is the, the color is called Spontaneous and it is a, oh there, patent polish lip pencil. Looks like that. I will cut away to actual close up footage of these products, but um, this is kind of like a sheer coverage almost lip glossy lip conditioner type of consistency at least when i swatched it and it has some color to it so yeah i had a couple options and i thought this one would be the one that i would probably use most often this next one here is another one from mac this is an eyeshadow a single one and it is in malibu bronze it is from the caitlin jenner collection and i have not bought a single pot eyeshadow in so long but when i saw this shade it just kind of called my name it's kind of like a, a reddish bronze more on the deeper side of the spectrum it's typically the type of lid colors i like anyways i can actually use this all over my eyes just single that'd be good this one is an eye pencil it's the not eye pencil brow pencil <laughs> this is the velux brow liner and i have not tried this type of brow pencil from mac before it's got a spoolie on one side and then this old pencil here it's your traditional brow pencil and it is in the shade taupe i normally like my brows a bit more on the ashy side just because i find that my brow hairs are normally more on the ashy side than like a warm tone of brown so got that i have two of these two of these lipsticks i <clears throat> there are times when i get on this like i'm scared if i really like it and then it runs out because it's limited edition type of way this was a case for this lipstick this is a matte lipstick in dearly beloved and it's like a brown ashy color i don't know what it is about this shade it just i just got drawn to it i saw tons of swatches on it before purchasing one and then i just i felt anxious and was like what if it runs out and i love it and i don't get it again so i got two i i should know better that i'm probably gonna fall in love with something else before i even finish half of that lipstick but i got myself a brush of exciting i don't know what it is um in general i get excited about makeup but there's something about getting a new brush something special so this is the mac 233 and it is a dual dual sided dual i don't know what you call these types of brushes but it's natural hair on one side synthetic on the other and i wanted to use this to pack on um lid shades why am i obsessed with lid brushes i don't know it's my latest brush obsession flat sheer brushes i hear these are good if you want to do wet and dry looks so i would like to try it out because i tend to do both this palette here the modern renaissance palette i finally purchased it i've been putting it off for so long just because i see everyone using it i'm kind of like mm, i don't know 
know if I'm gonna really like use shades like that but I caved in I caved in and I bought it um, I was watching a couple makeup tutorials and they like would pop this in their look every now and again I'm like oh, must be a sign I like these like reddish or cranberry type of colors but on an everyday basis I really don't think I would but there are like enough browns and like neutral colors in here everyday tones that I could probably make use of this palette a lot so but Venetian red and love letter not too sure and those are that those pink colors in here it's always good to have pink though I mean you know Valentine's looks modern renaissance palette finally caved in this is i believe i got this from nordstrom this is the ysl vinyl cream creamy lip stain and this is in 409 this was one of the products i had no intentions of buying but it was on the like i don't know if it was what's new or what's popular section and i was like mm. it has that typical ysl scent very like rich and luxurious smelling i don't know if that's possible but that's what it smells like and this is kind of like a berry tone but when it comes to tints or ones like these anyways i find that i always want the berry tone colors so in my valentine's video i was upset because i didn't have like a legit red lip liner so I made sure that when I was makeup shopping that I was going to buy me one just in case I wanted to use a red liquid lipstick again or li liquid lipstick and liquid lipstick. So I got this one from MAC and it is Kiss Me Quick. Medium tone red and I think it's one of those colors that it just it's just going to work for pretty much every type of red that you own. The spectrum and uh, this is a pro long wear so this is going to last very well on the lips i really like mac pro long wear lip liners they really do hold up to its name it's really good so moving on to anastasia beverly hills i just got me a repurchase of my brow Wiz, and this is in medium brown mm. i'm on my last one so i needed a backup because i can't live without it Bobbi Brown. I had this Bobbi Brown long wear cream shadow stick. I'm almost done with it. It's crazy. I told you guys I was going to run through this sucker like nobody's business. I'm almost done with it. So um, I knew that I had to buy a backup of it or replenish the item. So I did get it. This is the one in taupe. I've used it quite a bit on my videos. It's the perfect combination of like warm and cool and it just blends really well into my lids and just gives me enough color to bring shadow without drawing too much attention and bringing a lot of pigmentation to my lids and it just makes everything look good. This is another Bobbi Brown long wear cream shadow stick and this one is in gold stone. It's kind of a gold taupe type of color and I figured it just looked nice on the lids so I had seen a swatch of it. I was looking at the swatches of all of the cream shadow sticks and when I saw this one I added it to my cart so from Lady Moss, Lady Moss yeah Lady Moss I ordered the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD concealer I've, I've heard so much about this on YouTube and I hear it's like amazing it's going to do wonders for concealing and highlighting and all of that stuff so nothing but good stuff about this so I figured I was gonna order lashes might as well just try this out so I got this in creamy beige these two I got off of eBay because well I wasn't sure about Ulta this is the Rimmel steam matte powder you guys know I love this and this is in nude beige I just got two just so that I don't have to buy it for a long while. I'm panning this, okay? This is my go-to powder. On an everyday basis when I'm doing makeup, I don't like, you know, bake my face. I just use that. It's really cheap, really affordable. Try it. If you haven't tried it already and you have oily skin, you need to try it. I think, I think we're on to lashes, guys. Ooh. So, I did get some Ardell's. I'm running very low on my, my Ardell lashes and they are my favorite like everyday type of lashes. 
I just can't go without them. So I purchased my 110s and these are the natural lashes. These are a lot more natural than the Demi Wispies. They're, they practically just make your eyes give it a little extra, you know, like, hi, I'm not using lashes. Those are those lashes. I finally ordered the Demi Wispies. I always order the 120s. They're kind of the same thing, but I figured I'd try the legit Demi Wispies. These are the ones everybody's been talking about since lashes became a thing. Tell me I'm lying. Then I got a crap, crap ton of these lashes here. These are the 113s. This, this girl on Instagram and uh, I was just browsing being nosy like I usually am on Instagram and uh, she had worn these lashes. I legit had my phone on and I was staring at it like what the hell is she wearing? And she had linked what she was wearing down below, thank goodness. That was the reason I went back. I only ordered Coco lashes when I saw the lashes on her I went back and I ordered Ardell lashes just because of these ones but they're very they're very fluttery they're not that full but they're long a lot of people like fullness in the center I like wispy looking lashes that look like more full on the outside and longer on the outside kind of like a cat eye look I think it suits my eyes the best like exactly what I have on right now and I bought a crap ton of these ones as well when I saw these I knew they had to come home two four six I got six of them these ones are the 105 these I like to use uh, when I'm going out but I don't want to look very over the top when I put mascara on these babies they look amazing amazing and there's a couple of my instagram pics where i am using these lashes so they look good girl they look good trust me trust me the last bit are you guys ready this is crazy so i got a ton besides the ardell lashes i got a ton of coco lashes do not judge don't judge me here we go <clears throat> Marilyn is a repurchase, crisscrossy, um, very cat eye, dramatic type of lash. I'm gonna quickly run through these because there's a lot of them. These are crazy. I've never owned lashes this extreme before, but this is Foxy. It's another one that's very crisscrossy. It's a lot more full in the center and it's very dark hairs, like thick, coarse, dark hair. This is Diva. Um, when I first saw it, it was kind of like, hmm. It's one of those lashes that kind of almost look like dead ends like on the tips of the lashes what is this i've seen it a couple times on other like instagram posts of lashes is this a thing just in the box it looks off but who knows when you put it on so that's diva this is a more i do have this one as well it was another replenish item whenever i use this pair of lashes I always get compliments and questions on what I'm wearing. It's very PC and very like, what do you call them? Like very sharp looking, but it does really look great on the eyes. This one is very unique. This is Ariel and this is one of those like layered lashes. The next one is the same as well, but this is uh, pretty full. And the inner pieces are a lot thicker than the longer ones on the outside. So pretty unique. That's Ariel if I didn't say already and then this last one here is coco and uh coco lashes i guess it's pretty much the same thing as ariel just it's more tame then these i got just two of hmm. i don't know this is kind of a regret i don't know these are the mila lashes they're very natural looking and I didn't plan on buying Ardell lashes, which is why I bought this. So after I bought Ardell, I was kind of like, uh, I shouldn't have purchased these because they're a little bit more expensive than Ardell and I really didn't need, I didn't need to buy the more expensive version because I love Ardell lashes anyways. But these are just like everyday, again, longer on the outside lashes. Same thing with these, <clears throat> probably didn't need them. They're still really pretty, but these are the Misha lashes, again, very soft looking lashes, a lot fuller in the center. There are MAC lashes that look similar to this. I forget which 
which one it was. I, I had it before, but they're pretty. They're a lot smaller though, and I have pretty long like eyelid space, so we'll see. These I got three of, and these are the Demi G's. These look amazing. Um, I wanted to purchase these when I first ordered from Coco, not Coco Lashes, Lady Moss. That's where I get the Coco Lashes from. But they were always sold out. So when I saw these in stock, I just was like, you know, I'm going to grab three. It, it's not the like longer on the outside type of lashes. It's a lot fuller in the center, but just the way that it looks, it's definitely a me type of lash. I don't know, I've kind of graduated to like more dramatic lashes. I used to just do 120s from Ardell. That was like dramatic for me. And then I just kept going up the ranks, guys. Kept pushing my boundaries. And now I'm like, Phew. same thing with these. I got three. These are the goddess and same thing. These were always out of stock. Demi G's goddesses. I always wanted to purchase them. They were always out of stock. Why? I don't know. But those type of lashes I find are the popular type of lashes. They, I don't know how to describe them. If you see them, I think you'll know exactly what I'm trying to like express. But those type of lashes are, I think, the most popular types of lashes or style of lash. These are the last ones I'm going to share with you guys. And they are what I have on my eyeballs. These are my favorite Coco lashes. I find that they look very nice on. Um, I like the way that they kind of enhance my eye features. I don't know. I just, every time I wear them, I really like the way that they end up looking on my face. So I purchased five. They are what I have on my eyes today. I'm going to chuck these out. I've used I've used a little <laughs> I've used them to death. They're on their last leg, but I put mascara on to tame them. And that is it, guys. That is my beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wasn't too bored with all the lashes that I had purchased, but. I don't know, I was in a lash kind of mood. I'm going to literally get rid of all, the, all of the lashes that I have because they are overused. I need to get rid of them. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm happy to be back and I will be doing a separate haul video with clothing. I'm a little nervous. It's my first time ever doing any type of fashion type of video. I promised myself I never would, but I just got really excited with all the, you know, pieces that I purchased and it's like, you know what, what the hey, let's, let's just do it. It's always the first time for everything. So that will be forthcoming. I will probably just do like the intro and the same get up because I filmed the outfits separately. I'm nervous and excited about it. Again, if you guys like this makeup look, go ahead and head over to Instagram. I will list all of the beauty products that I used to put this look together and it will be posted up there for you real soon. Again, if you guys like this makeup look, go ahead and head over to Instagram. I will list all of the beauty products that I used to put this look together and it will be posted up there for you real soon <sighs> with this video. My Instagram link will be down below. It is the first thing on there and it's just practically the same thing as my YouTube channel. It's Instagram slash MandyJSass. And if you guys enjoyed this video and have not done so already, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below in red. I'd really appreciate it. And you'll be notified when my next video pops up in your subscription box. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Till the next video, hope you guys are all doing well, taking really good care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye. Music time.